What's up, nerds? I'm ready to get cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. We're gonna leave the forest. <coughs> gonna cough. Because I am bulk recording them at the moment because I just wanted to play this game. S that's it. What are you all going to do? Why, look for Pokemon, of course. Professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see a lot of moves. What are you gonna, gonna do, Callum? Or Callum, not Callum, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to Sandaloon City's gym and take on the gym leader. So you know, Pokemon trainers test their strength by battling with gym leaders in each Pokemon gym. Wow, you sure know a lot. That is something that you would learn. At age 5 in this world. But maybe 10. Like, it's it's the same with... Oh, here. See how you catch Pokemon. Okay, if you don't know that by then, if you're like 11. Okay, because why would you before? But stuff like, there's a Pokemon Center. It hears your Pokemon. Why would you not know that when you grow up in the Pokemon world? And this is a Pokeball. It captures Pokemon. How could you go through your life? At like 11, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old and not know that. How could you not know that Pokemon are in the tall grass if you live around tall grass? Just... I know, I get it. Tutorials. And I'm reading way too much into this. But still. <laughs> I learned a lot from others. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. And I will never, ever, ever take a look at them. Look at those rules if you're confused about something. Oh, this is great. I'm going to spend some time getting to know my little Fennekin. What are you going to do, Ren? Yeah, leave me alone. I'm gonna get my next encounter. Which will be... Come on, give me a look, yeah. Oh, oh, Clauncher. Awesome, never used one of those. Um, pretty sure a weather ball won't kill because it won't have any special effect. Please, okay, great. And water gun shouldn't do too much. Too, I mean, come on, it's super effective and it deals two damage. Clauncher, absolutely great. Clauncher, Clawitzer, sure. One, two, three. Got it. Because as far as I know, this one has pretty decent, pretty normal catch rate. Clancher was caught. The water gun Pokemon. They knock down flying prey by firing compressed water from a massive claws, like shooting a pistol. So we're gonna call her Deagle. Desert Eagle, because I was Debating in my head between Glock and Deagle, but Deagle I always liked. The sound of Deagle. <laughs> I, mean, I could have called her Magnum as well, but yeah, no. Okay, preschooler. Mommy told me yeah, I shouldn't battle anyone who greets me. I didn't greet you. I didn't even look at you, but alright. Challenged by Worker Oliver. He, they grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Hitmontop, a fighting type Pokemon. Which at its level, like 4 or 5 maybe? Oh, 2, yeah. Should not have anything to touch us. Like, its strongest moves against us are probably just normal types. Like Tackle. Pound maybe. I don't know what they get. But as... Close combat! Shouldn't do shit. Yeah. Okay, thing is... This is my last weather ball. Because I only have 10 PP for it. Gotta use it. Because we are against a fully evolved Pokemon, which means it should, even on level 2, should give us decent experience. 67, that's alright. Noctowl, will I change the Pokemon? Yes! Let Crack see the light of day for once, because it is a rock type. I always want to say stone type, I mean, come on. A rock type Pokemon. I mean, what could a Noctowl have? It could have normal type moves. It could have psychic type moves, which won't do too much to us. And it could have flying type moves, which we don't care. Um, we're just gonna go for Headbutt. 
Uses tackle. Yeah. Does nothing. Let's see how much we do. Alright damage. Nothing too bad. Oh, come on. By the way, um, so my native tongue is German. My native language, whatever, is German. And so, of course, I grew up with these games in German. I think this generation was the first one I played in English. No, it was black and white one or two, I think. So now, A, I have oh, I have uh, problems with uh, when talking with people around here because I, I'm, like until generation four, I know I'm in German as well. But like I I know every Pokemon, almost every Pokemon by name, and most of the names I know in English, and to a lesser degree I know I'm German. So if I'm talking to someone and uh, I'm like. Yeah, uh, caught a whatever, caught a noctowl, and they're like, hey, what? A, a, a noctowl, a, uh, uh, wait, what's it? <laughs> what's it in German? <laughs> noctu, I mean, okay, no, noctowl, noctu, that's, it's, that's not the biggest difference, but still. But yeah, I most likely, Caracosta. I have no idea what Caracosta is in German. It's a totally different name. And we use headbutt. And another thing, since I know the German or I I, I know the German uh, names and stuff like that, one thing that always irks me is the dark type, because like in I think if I remember correctly in Japanese it's um, like if you translate it from Japanese it's evil type, which all right sure. Uh, dark type in English completely makes sense. The name for dark type in German is Unlicht. The problem I have with that, Licht means light. Un is a prefix, I think it's called, um, for non. So Un pretty much means non. So Unlicht just means non-light. Why can't you uh, name it uh, Dunkel, which means dark? Why can't you name it Schatten, which means shadow? Why do you have to call it non-light? I mean, that they don't use the, word, the translation for evil. All right, can totally go, uh, can totally, I am totally behind it, whatever. Uh, you know what I want to say, but why? Do you need to call it non-light? That's just... By the way, uh, Crack just gained three or four levels. Did we start at two or three? Whatever. Three. Get three levels out of, uh, from one battle. That's great. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let P uh, Pichu do what it wants. Challenged by Marchioness Ella. So now Tranquil. Which means once again we can go out into Crack. Because Rainbow, I would I would fight with Rainbow, but yeah, no weather balls and uh, Whirlwind won't do shit because without a second Pokemon you can't switch it out. So yeah, dark types are non-light in German and that just, that is just stupid in my opinion. Like, completely. That shouldn't do shit. Three damage. That's more than I thought, but still. So one more. Three again. So even a super effective attack would only do six. Huh. Do we risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. I mean, a critical hit, not super effective. Whatever. So we we could have even lived a crit. Right now, we oh. Great, great a high roll. We love it. We love it. We gain quite a lot of XP. Yes. Level 7. Wow. That is amazing. See, that's why. Oh, and <coughs> Rambo also got. Oh, my goodness. Pichu, did we lose? Yes. So, oh. 
And we got a Babiri Berry. So when we get something... Okay. That's... Uh, that happens when we get something from a trainer. The thing is... Um, so the game freezes for a second or it just you can't go because it registers as the person talking to you. Then the speech bubble appears, then you get something, then the speech bubble appears again. And I heard somewhere, but I won't try and... Uh, oh well, with a beer berry, why not? Um, if you talk to them again, you get the same thing again. I'm gonna check that out, just to be sure. Felt by Pokemon, this berry will lessen the, the damage taken from one super effective steel type attack. Could give that to Crack for now. By the way, what does Crack have? Crack has an item. What is it? An Everstone. Nope, nope, no. We're gonna take the Everstone from you. You know what? For now, why not give it the berry? Oh, give, not use. That's it. I was like, doesn't have any effect. What? Okay, let's just check it out. Okay, yeah. Just get the same thing again. Which, I did that just to make sure. I will not do this in the future. Like, if we get a good item, we get one. We get it once. Coming through. We could abuse this. I don't want to. Our Pokemon looking Rainbow, Steve, yeah. We're pretty alright. Hey, my Pokemon and I are studying. Wanna join us? No. No, I'm working. <laughs> Challenged by male swimmer Bridget. Set out electrode. Okay. Mm, it could have electric type attacks. And it could just explode. So, in any case, Steve is our best bet, I hope. I hope it just doesn't explode. I think it gets explosion later on, or self-destruct, or whatever. Use charge. Okay, you can charge your electrical moves, no problem. Because they won't have any effect on me anyway. Let's go for a sand tomb. And see. Boom, yeah, kills. Because as we know, even if it's a very weak move, it is super effective. Steve has pretty high attack as far as I can remember. Let's see. 29, yeah, pretty high attack. And, ooh, mud slap. Oh, of course it was special. Uh, the user hurls mud into the target's face to inflict damage and lower its accuracy. So... Gonna forget sand attack. I am not quite sure if the accuracy lowering is 100%, but I mean it is damage, damage and sand attack. So, yeah, we learned gust. Awesome. Actually, have a decent move. Pokemon Rainbow summary. I want to see your moves. It's just 40, so it is. I mean, it is still stronger than Weather Ball because it is it gets stab bonus. It is a uh, special attack move. Our attack is higher, but by not much. My goodness, our special defense. 35. Like, okay, yeah, this one is defensive. This one as well. Wait, do we have... Uh, uh, hasty. Which means it up speed lowers defense. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> Here we have up special defense, lower speed. Is that it, the blue one? Is the one that gets lowered, right? I think. Here we have docile, which is just uh, a neutral nature. Here it up speed lowers attack. Uh, shit. So, not the best natures, but it's alright. Trying to jump down, get this item. Super Potion! Mm. Great for later on. Oh yeah, I seem to not have 
randomize the overworld items, which sucks. Oh, a Magmar. Mm, I would love to use Deagle. Now nah, we'll just stick with Rainbow for now because there is nothing that this Magmar can do to us. Nothing. Should do one, maybe two, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the next town. Wait a minute, did I? Yeah, I, I captured something on this route. It was it was Deagle. Best way to learn about the move is to have your Pokemon use it. Yeah, that's kind of true. Wilkstrom! Sure! <laughs> Let's battle one of the Elite Four. Elite Four, Brighton. Set out Wormadam. Oh, we just got Gust, so I mean, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I'm gonna destroy you. Level 3. I mean, come on. Just die. <laughs> Get destroyed. What? Oh, yeah, because it is... Um, isn't this one part... I want to say steel? Could that be? So it's not super effective anymore, of course, but otherwise it would just be gone. Go to level 10, great. Kranidos. You know what? Let's risk it. I mean, I'm gonna heal up right away. The thing is, I'm... I'm oh, Kranidos is the... Not evolved form. Great, great, great. The basic form. Still pretty high attack. And our defense... I mean, our defense are pretty decent as far as I can remember. So, hope for the best. I don't think it will... Yeah, that's that's alright. That's alright. And we got Water Gun, so... That you... <laughs> that looks great. Yeah, okay. Great, great, great. So we would have lived even a critical hit. We will hit with the water gun, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't have risked it, probably. That gives me 45. Okay, that's not a lot. Cubone, I will stay in. Question is, do I heal up or do I risk it? Once again, just to be on the safe side. I'm... I'm I'm very paranoid in many things, and that is one of them. Like, I'm pretty sure it won't... Okay, it uses Tail Whip. Whatever it would have attacked us with wouldn't probably have done 9 attack, uh, nine damage or more. But, like I said, just to be the safe side. I will probably kill it right now. Nope. Oh, wow. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Clauncher, I think, needs... A few more levels before it actually has the decent attack that I wanted to have. Go to level nine, five. Great. Yeah, attack of nine is not not great. So, um, since our ho, -Oh, since Rainbow is level ten now. Oh my goodness, I have to do it like this, and then like that. Ah, uh, yeah, deal. Because so far. I will keep all the Pokemon that I have in this party right now. Aren't you a trainer? No. Okay. So here we can just start and go in here. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on, teach me how to use it. Pokemon Center, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, hey there, Ren. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon centers sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter to have her heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to the PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Yeah, I'm gonna dance. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he could have just danced and told me everything. There's a Pokemon art at the back of the Pokemon center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff in the Pokemon art too. Yep, which I will do. By the way, um, one thing I also um, randomized is TMs. Which means 
if I get the TM for flamethrower, it doesn't have to be flamethrower. Do you sell TMs? No, I th don't think so, right? No, you sell this stuff. Um, do we need anything? How many Pokeballs do we have? 19, I mean, come on. Potions, four. Let's buy one more. I have way less money than I thought. Huh. Um, yeah, the TM doesn't have to be Flamethrower. It could be like Water Gun, it could be Earthquake. But the thing is, it still counts as Flamethrower in terms of who can learn it. So if like you have a Magmar and it can learn Flamethrower, and Flamethrower gets randomized to... No, Fly is a bad example because it's an HM. Gets randomized to Water Gun. Then Magmar can learn Water Gun. Which is amazing in my opinion. Hoping for some good stuff. We can have some really bad stuff with that, of course. I'm just gonna talk to a few people because from now on I don't really know who gives me stuff and who doesn't. I won't actually talk. Uh, I, I won't actually um, read what they say. I will just go in... Talk, uh, talk to them, see if they give me something, and then go out again. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Nope. I don't want to hear about them. I don't even know what to hear about. I think she wanted to tell me something about gym leaders, if I read that correctly. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Let's see. Um. How or where do we go from here? Is there 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 is a gym in here, right? The bug type gym that we just heard about, I think. Do you give me something? Do you give me some something? Bundle B for my far fetched. I don't have a bundle B. I'm sorry. If I ever find one, we might come back here. Like. I might, since this counts as a static Pokemon. Static Pokemon are Pokemon that you get at a certain point. They are not part of, like, in this route you can only catch one. Like, you can get static Pokemon. Ah, okay. Trainer school. Um, so, if I find a Bunnelby, I will capture it. I will come back here and trade with this guy because it is kind of a gift Pokemon. I got X attacks. Great. Well, either use them or sell them. X defenses. Same thing. Um, so yeah, they are counted as gift Pokemon, which means I can use them as if I had caught them in a new area. So the Bundle B itself won't get used, so it is okay if I catch it. And I will trade it in for a Pokemon they give me. So... Yeah, if I find a Bunnelby, I will catch it. That's long story short. Um, oh, you. You are, aren't you? One of those kids who got a Pokemon from Ar Arjusdine Sycamore. <laughs> right? The clown you got there looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the Pokemon gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. <gasps> Your sister? <laughs> Alright, uh, this is just a cafe. I mean, it's very cute. I, I, I like I like the whole design of this game, of this uh, generation. Route 22 is a new route. I just don't know how strong the trainers are because... You know, let's, let's find out. I learned all of my Pokemon battle techniques from Viola, the gym leader. I think they are our level, like... Versus Ramos. Hmm. Challenged by Lida Luis. Greninja. Ooh. How strong? Because shit, what do we do against a Greninja? Level 6. Alright. Um, oops. What we can do? Steve? No. Renbo. Yes, I'm sending out a fire type against a water type. But, I mean, like I said, Renbo's... Defenses are amazing. Stats in general are amazing. So we shouldn't have a problem with a four level with a Greninja that is four level beneath us. Used bubble? Okay. 
Like I said, shouldn't do too much. Six damage. That is very doable. Very, very doable because this will kill. And should give decent EXP since, again, fully evolved Pokemon. Yes, 306 is amazing. Deagle will grow, uh, grow to at least level 7, yeah. If not 8. Oh, we learned Water Sport. Okay. Regice. No. 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 Okay. The problem with Regice is it can explode. I think it has explosion from the beginning. I could go into my Sturdy Mon, because if he explodes right now, we live. Won't go into Rainbow. Could go into Steve, but if he explodes... Summary, what's our defense? 20. What's... Defense on Rainbow? 25. You know what? We're going to... We're going to crack. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! I'm scared! Log on. Okay? Okay? Like I said, if it uses... If it uses explosion, we are fine, because we are with sturdy Zap Cannon! Okay, we switch out! Thank... okay. Okay, there was a critical hit, stuff like that. Okay, still, it couldn't have killed us because of sturdy. From now on, everything can kill us. Um, Steve. Steve, I really need you here, Steve. Please. Please. Like I said, I... I mean, if... Dust effect Steve, great. As long as it doesn't go for explosion. Steve used superpower. Okay, we are faster. I should have thought about that, but still... Okay, okay. I've seen many, many people lose uh, Pokemon in Nuzlocke's because of Regis. Because all of them can explode. All of them. Don't know about Regis Gigas, but all of the rest... Yes. Crack grew to level 9, Crack grew to level 10, great. Deagle grew to level 8, probably 10 also, right? Oh no, just one level that was not... Yeah, well. I might even be stronger than Viola. Yes, I am. And since we got a... Oh, 27 minutes again. Already. Okay, first, you. Um, Splash can... Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna stay in with Deagle and see what our next encounter is. Because this is a new route. A Graveler. What did I just say about explosions? Okay. I'm gonna risk this right now. Because I don't think a water gun would actually kill a Graveler. If it would. Then there's also the possibility that Graveler has 30, which is a high possibility. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't explode right now. I mean, I'm just gonna... Yes, sturdy, Great. Rock polish. All right. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. Uh, thing is, again, I won't use Graveler because I have pretty much the same Pokemon already in my party. <laughs> like, I have... Um, Boldor, which is a rock type, three uh, stages, middle evolution, just like Graveler. Do not. Okay. Ups his things again. But I want Graveler. Because it can it will become Golem later on. And that's just amazing. Use a Premier Brawl because it's uh same as a Great Ball, I think. One, two, three. Gotcha. Great, great, great. Um, and once again, it is a trade evolution, but the randomizer changed it so that at a specific point, like I said, I think it's like 36, maybe 40, it will evolve, oh, we learned Vice Grip, it will evolve into Golem anyway, which is great, I think, because otherwise, Pokemon like Graveler would be useless in a randomizer. With a free and uncaring nature, it doesn't mind it if pieces break off while it rolls down mountains. Okay. Um, we're gonna call this, uh, I had 
the same name for a note. Okay, yeah. I kind of had the same name for a golem once because I found a shiny uh, Geodude once when playing my normal game. Like, I think, was it black and white? I think it was. Found a shiny Geodude and I called it Rumble Ball. No one piece, the things that Chopper used, used because he really doesn't use them anymore, sadly. Rumble Balls. And they were in all kinds of uh, colors and one of them was yellow. And a shiny Geodude is pretty yellow, so I called him Rumble Ball. I wanted to name this one Rumble Ball as well, but I think Rumble, just in general, just fits also. Uh, we could also have gotten... A Goldeen, so I'm pretty happy with Rumble. Like I said, we'll probably uh, put it in the PC because I just don't... I don't really think we will use it. Because Boldor. If, if, if it was reversed, like if we found... Um, if we found... Graveler first, and then Boldor, I would probably just stick with Graveler. It's not like I like one of them more than the other, it's just like, love them pretty much, like, pretty much the same way, so I'm just gonna take the Pokemon that I had before. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, and afterwards, I'm gonna end the episode. I'm just gonna do this now, because otherwise I will probably not remember it. Same with Deagle's Vice Grip. Uh, oops. Okay, just, just, yeah. Just for my personal well-being, I need that in this order. Okay, she heals him. Like I said, gonna put Graveler in the PC for now. Someone's PC, um, deposit Pokemon, we're gonna deposit Graveler. Let's just compare those two. I mean, yeah, Baldor is three levels above. We have way more attack. We have a bit more defense, a bit more special attack, a bit more special defense. And speed is exactly the, name. It's the same. Both have sturdy, so... Yeah. Whoa, the music just got slow. <laughs> That was strange. And with that, we're gonna save for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. I really do. It's a great start to a Nuzlog, I think. I got quite a few good Pokemon. Also, one thing I forgot to, uh, to mention. I will mention it when the time is right, but still. If I like, if I go to the next route and I found I find a Graveler as a first Pokemon again, then I can say, nope. Taking the next one, because I already have a Graveler. That same thing applies if you find a Geodude or a Golem. Since I have a Graveler, so one Pokemon from that family, I can't skip this family if I find it again. Just say. Alright, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!